Hey there! Uh, sometimes really nice things happen because of my viewers. One of my viewers, Tim, uh, bought a really nice pen pouch that he enjoyed from eBay, uh, the UK version of eBay, and then he dropped my name to the person who made the pouch because it's handmade, and then she contacted me and she said I should send you one of my pouches and then you can review it if you want, and I said, definitely. And she sent me one, and I very much like it, and I'll, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. This won't be a very long video, because clearly I cannot do a, a, a writing sample with this, but this is the pouch. Uh, it's leather, and as you can see, this has some, uh, some serious stitching going on there. Um, I'm going to read the specifications, okay? And then I'll, I'll tell you where you can get it, and what the features are, etc. But I just want you to, to understand the specifications, and just to be uh, give you some eye candy, I'm going to hold this up while I'm reading it. Uh, this is the genuine leather pen case for three fountain pens. The product is made to order and can be dispatched within two to three days from cleared payment. It is genuine, good leather quality leather. It is two millimeters thick. It is hand punched and stitched all round using good quality wax thread. The leather has been molded around the pens and separated slots with strong stitching to create a fine finish. It has flap fastening, the color is tan in this case, uh, and the leather type is Yarwood's finest. The size is 16 centimeters high, that's about, um, uh, I think, a little over 6 inches uh, by 10 centimeters wide, so it's about four inches wide and approximately and the size may vary slightly uh, the leather is finished with a saddle soap treatment upon completion which adds to the beauty of the leather product and also helps to protect the leather uh, it's a perfect accessory for my fountain pen or ballpoint rollerball uh, collection unique handcrafted strong long-lasting product ideal for a gift or for own use and the item is handcrafted in Great Britain so made by hand it's the, the first thing you notice when you hold this is that it's really rugged it feels really strong and um, I've actually taken the liberty of uh, pulling out my calipers and when I measure this you can just see from the gap this is not thin leather uh, you're talking about a good three millimeters of leather um, and it's strong it also has that really nice leather smell and you probably know what I'm talking about I like the shape it's nicely um, uh, tapered here, slightly tapered there. Again, the stitching is really nice. It looks like stitching that is never going to wear down uh, during your life, probably not even your grandchildren's lives. Um, a simple design, a simple loop, but it does what it's supposed to do. Now, my problem with a lot of pen pouches, like this, this is my Von der Speck pouch, holds four pens, has compartments, beautiful Dutch uh, great stuff, but you put in a handmade pen, uh, sorry, not a handmade pen, but an oversized pen, and things start to go sour, uh, because you, you can hardly even fit them in, and the, the, the problem is that once they are in, the flap just won't close, because it's such a big pen, you can't put it in. Now, with this pouch that Jackie sent me, the, the lady who made them, this is not an issue. You can take a small pen, Dolce Vita Mini, you can put it in, and it's no issue, obviously, because there's a lot of space. You can take a bigger pen, this is a Pelican M600, you put it in, you have to fiddle around a little bit with the leather, and there we go, no problem. And of course, everything easily closes. Things get interesting when you start to deal with oversized pens. Uh, this, I have to say, is a really exceptional pen, not because it's so long, but because it has a lot of girth. Um, but, a bit of fiddling, and you can put it in. Here I have a Visconti Opera Crystal. It just slides in, and here we have that Tatcha Savannah that I showed you earlier. Also, a very big pen. You put it in, you take the flap, and you close it, and it's closed, it doesn't flap open, you actually have to open it manually. So, what I'm saying is, if you are like me, and you like bigger pens, regular pen pouches may not really work for you, and with this pouch, it's no problem. Uh, what I understood from Tim, who recommended this to me, is that 
uh, Jackie can also, and I have not verified this with her, but this is what he said, can also make them to size. And as they are handmade products, I'm sure that for maybe a little bit of extra money or whatever, she can customize them to your needs. This pouch costs £20.99, uh, which is not a whole lot. Um, it boils down to about 30 so dollars, um, which I think is a pretty good deal because it is genuine leather. And if you would buy something like this from, say, Marchiato, the, uh, the daughter brand of Delta, I think it would be safe to say that you could spend about 150% of that price, if not more. So I think it's very, very cool. I love it. Jackie, thanks a lot for sending me this. I'll be using this with a lot of pleasure. I really enjoy it. If you want to get one, then you need to go to leatheronthehighstreet.co.uk. I'm going to show you Jackie's card. Leatheronthehighstreet.co.uk. Okay, that's where you get them. Um, and they also have an eBay store where you can purchase them directly. You can email the website and they can uh, hook you up. Guys, that's all I have for now. Very nice pen pouch. I hope I have convinced you that this is interesting to get. Um, check it out. Check out the website. See if there's anything you like. They do other products as well, wallets, etc. Uh, I hope this was useful and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.